G'day YouTube, how you going? So just a bit of a, another update for me um, off-grid system at the shed. This is the uh, eastern side with the new panels we put up last time. There's the uh, western side over there. Um, I didn't have uh, any of these boxes or any circuit breakers spare. I've got to put a filler um, plate in there. Uh, so I simply uh, left it disconnected. <clears throat> um, also, uh, I only had 16 amp breakers, so I'll just turn that around. And now I've um, got a heap of replacement 10 amp breakers, so both of those strings in there have got 10 amp breakers and they're all hooked up, ready to go. And apart from that filler plate there, this one's all, this uh, string here is all hooked up with a 10 amp breaker on it as well and a new enclosure and a sun shield. So um, that's all uh, at full capacity now. So um, last time I was down here, even with that uh, <coughs> string disconnected, the uh, system was, I think it was about 10 o'clock or something in the morning. Um, the system was set 100% and that was with the computer and stuff running so just goes to show and you know an extra few panels can make a massive difference in crappy weather not that today's much better but it's clearing up a bit so that's good so um, <clears throat> just uh, yeah, another update that's pretty much it for now just got to put the um, blanking plate in there put the um, weatherproofing caps in now that I've finished uh, opening and closing these up and connecting things up, I can do all that. The other last thing I need to do is um, replace this here with some actual conduit um, and some conduit connectors and stuff, but I need some reducers and stuff for here. So I'm, again, waiting for more bits and pieces, but as far as electrically speaking, it's all up and running at 100%, so that's good. Right on YouTube, hope you're all staying safe and happy and healthy and I'll uh, catch us again soon. Hooroo.